Well, I'm Martin Litton, and I first went down the Grand Canyon as a result of uh, knowing, getting to know P.T. Riley, who invited me to come on, 19, uh, on a 1955 trip. And there were a total of nine of us, I believe, including my wife, his wife, and three or four other people, and, uh, uh, and have come here ever since, uh, on and off, and through the uh, late 60s and 1970s and uh, 80s, I was a uh, concessioner here, and uh, so I ran the river quite a few times. Uh, I don't know exactly how many, 80, 90 maybe, and uh, got pretty well acquainted with it. Always in small boats, and always in rigid boats, dories. Um, were you ever in, involved in the environmental movement? <laughs> uh, yes, I'm involved in the environmental movement. I uh, was on the board of directors of the Sierra Club at the time uh, the fight over the dams in the Grand Canyon took place. And uh, uh, going farther back uh, in the Dinosaur National Monument fight where the dams were proposed at Echo Park and Dinosaur National Monument and at Split Mountain. And that was our first real big fight on dams in the whole Colorado River system, of course. It was what the first, what they call the first Sierra Club major victory uh, since the creation of uh, Kings Canyon National Park in 1940. Nothing else much happened in which the Sierra Club really took a fighting stance until the Dinosaur National Monument controversy came up. And that was stopped, and we never believed it would be stopped, because the President of the United States himself stood up before the world and said, Echo Park Dam will be built. And we said, the hell you say. And it never was built, despite the fact that all the Utah delegation and uh, uh, administration, secretaries of the interior came and went, and they all pushed for the uh, building of the dams in Dinosaur National Monument, and they all lost.